I'm a Canadian Jew who was raised as most Jews were to be deeply supportive of Israel and think of it as our homeland. I lived in Israel for almost three years. I studied there. I ended up working in the West Bank in Ramallah in the town of Berzait. Uh, I know from personal experience the outrages which Israel is perpetrating on a daily basis against Palestinians. It is clear to me and to many, many other people that they are attempting to destroy Palestinians as a people. And in the case of the Gaza Strip, there has been a siege going on for more than three years. Uh, Israel controls in every way land, sea, and air access to Gaza, invades and bombs and attacks at will. Uh, I am a member of the national Jewish organization, Independent Jewish Voices of Canada. We've issued a statement about this. We are extremely uh, uh, outraged at uh, the Canadian government's ongoing uh, thoughtless support of Israel and all of Israel's most extreme policies and practices. And uh, I am just glad that some people have managed to, at very short notice, turn out today uh, to express their, their tremendous, strong uh, uh, outrage at uh, Israel's latest action of attacking a flotilla of ships with unarmed uh, international peace activists who were attempting to, vi to, to deliver much needed construction and medical aid to the, uh, the people of Gaza. And uh, we are hearing reports, we don't know the numbers yet, uh, of, of numbers of people who were killed on those ships. It may be as high as 19, it may even be more. Many others have been wounded. Uh, and Israel is, of course, uh, in insisting on a media blockade and attempting as always, to deflect attention from what it's done. Uh, it's great that we're here today, and we're here for justice, we're here for a real, lasting peace, and we're here for the people of Palestine whose voices are endlessly silenced. They need to be heard.